Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 2, Section 1 in McDougall Itell's 8th grade textbook entitled Integers and Absolute Value. We start with the definition of integers. Integers are numbers that appear on a number line. Numbers that appear on a number line. Sometimes we say that integers are simply the counting numbers, their opposites, and zero. And I would take either definition if I asked you for it on a quiz or test. Integers are numbers that appear on a number line, or the counting numbers, their opposites, and zero. One more time. Integers are numbers that appear on a number line, or the counting numbers, their opposites, and zero. You can see over here, I've got for you a simple number line with these parts labeled. You can see that the numbers to the left of zero are the negative integers. The numbers to the right of zero are the positive integers. And everything on the number line is in general an integer. Of course, it would not make sense to put zero in with the positive integers or the negative integers because zero is neither positive nor negative. Larger values on number line are, of course, the ones that you would find to the right. The smallest values are, of course, the ones you would find off to the left. Okay. So with that said, we're ready to go ahead and start with example one, where we're asked to order in a set. And we're asked to order 5, negative 10, 15, 27, negative 20, and 13. When I say order a set, I obviously simply mean put them in order from least to greatest. So, based on that list and looking at the number line, which number would be the smallest number that you see on the board? Sorry. Negative 20. Negative 20 would be the one that would be furthest to the left on the number line, so that makes it the smallest. Okay. What would be the next smallest number that's on the number line? Victoria. Negative 10. Negative 10. And we've exhausted the negatives. Negatives are, of course, always going to be smaller than any positive number, no matter what the negative happens to be. All right, so now we've just got to work with the positive numbers, which is good for us. So the next smallest number would be? Five. Five. Next smallest number would be 13. The next smallest number would be 15. And the last one, 27. Okay. In example two, we are asked to complete the statement simply with a greater than or a less than sign. In case you don't know by now, even though you really should, this one here is greater. This one here would be less. Okay, and remember, negatives are always smaller than positive. So, go ahead and fill in the blank. Let's start with the first one. 9 blank 14. Does it get a greater than sign fill in the blank or a less than sign? Kristen? A less than. Gets a less than sign because 14 mm -hmm. is the larger of the two. As most of you know from your elementary days, the alligator always eats the larger number. All right, let's go on to the next one. 89 and negative 98, greater than or less than? Greater. That's a greater than because 89 being positive is always bigger than the negative no matter what. All right, negative 7 and negative 6. Negative 7 and negative 6, greater or less? Ryan? greater or less, which sign do I put in the blank? I put a less than in, good. Negative six would be further to the right on the number line. Larger values are always the ones on the right. All right, an easy one, four and 24, greater or less? That's a less. 
negative 21 and 12. Plus. 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 Okay. And so, we move on to absolute value then. Absolute value, simple absolute value we're talking about here. Absolute value is the distance away a number is from zero on the number line. The distance away a number is from zero on the number line. It's denoted with two vertical bars as in vertical bar, Z, vertical bar. Those are not ones, they're not lowercase l's, these are vertical bars here. Any number 